All right, here we are for our, our very first beginner blues guitar lick. We're in the key of A. Let's take a look at the tab. We've got the third fret of the low E string, fifth fret of the low E string. So what you're gonna to wanna to do for fretting purposes is use your first finger on the third fret and your third finger to fret the fifth fret. And you can do this on each string. So anytime you see the third fret, that's your first finger. Anytime you see the fifth fret, you are using your third finger. Super easy. Now the first four notes is what I like to call the beginner's box. This grouping, grouping of four notes is just a cool little segment of the fretboard that you can use to create licks. Now our fifth fret is kind of like our home base on that low E string. That's our A note. So we're in the key of A. So we know that's our home base. So it's nice to know where that's at. So we can kind of, a lot of times, focus our licks around that note. So you can see, beginning in the second measure, we have a hammer-ons right here. I'm going to just hammer on from the third fret to the fifth fret. We're going to do it twice. And then we'll end the phrase, third fret of the A string, and then fifth fret, of course, back to the A. And we're going to apply a little bit of vibrato there. And this is kind of like a, you're tacking on a little phrase at the end that kind of complements what we did up here, the second measure. So hammer on on the low E string from the third to the fifth fret, back up to the third fret of the A. That's the third fret of the A string, and then to the A note on the fifth fret of the low E string. So let's take a listen. Let's look at some of the ways that we can add a little bit of variety to this particular lick. Alright, so it's tabbed out a certain way, but you can substitute things instead of what's actually tabbed out. So for example here in the second fret, or the second measure, instead of these hammer-ons here, why not try sliding from the third fret to the fifth fret? Another example, this third fret of the A string. Maybe when you play that note, create a little slight bend. You know, just pull with your finger just a little bit to make that note go a little bit sharp. But, you know, just little different things you can throw in there that doesn't really change too much. It's just kind of changing the technique that you use. Let's try our lick in the key of B. Alright, here we are in the key of C. Here's 
the key of D. And here we are for the key of E. This is our lick in the key of F. And last of all, here we are in the key of G.